Underground oil tanks. Should I buy a house with an underground oil tank? That's the topic of my next video. Imagine this. You've been shopping for months and months to find that perfect house in Nassau County, and you finally find it, and then you do a little more research, and you find out that the house has an underground or an in-ground oil tank. Is that a big red flag? That's the topic of this video. Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Schreier. I'm a licensed sales associate with Century 21 American Homes. And to get into some of the detail, but not to bore you, just because a house has an underground oil tank does not mean you should not go through with the deal. What it basically means is you need to do your homework. You need to check and make sure, A, that the property is not polluted. By that, I mean that it the oil tank hasn't the oil hasn't seeped into the surrounding ground and polluted that area. So how can you do that? Well, it's very easy, as we know, if it's an above ground tank, you can see the dripping and leaking and things of that nature. But if it's underground, it's a little more difficult to do. If it's really leaking bad, you could see a lot of um, damage to the actual earth around it, to the grass. It would probably be all discolored and things of that. And you might even smell in a really, really bad scenario the petroleum, the oil as well. Big red flag could cost a lot of money to remediate that to get it fixed. Uh, another thing that you can do, if you look and it looks fine for you, you want to really make sure that this, that it hasn't leaked at all. So you can call in a remediation company. If you go to purchase the house and they tell you, well, we have an above ground tank and the oil tank used to be underground, they should have a certificate from the town to show that they had it abandoned properly and also uh, if it was removed to show or back up that it was removed. If the homeowner does not have that documentation, you can go into the Nassau County Department of Health website, Small Tank Abandonment. We interrupt my video for a special housekeeping announcement. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Please remember to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. The name of the channel is Real Estate 101, everything you need to know about buying and selling residential real estate. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you weren't too thrilled, shh, don't tell anybody. Also, please remember to leave comments in the comment section below. I include in those comments uh, things you liked about this video also include topics that you'd like me to discuss now back to our video and you basically type in the street address and I'm just gonna pick an arbitrary address here but a uh, um, small facility no this is not it small tank let's go back wrong one naturally Nassau County Department of Health here we go Nassau County Small petroleum tank abandonments and re removals. You go down to the bottom, print verification letter, and I'm just going to type in a, a street. They're all in Nassau County, so you don't have to write the town pretty much. Uh, Smith Street. I don't even know where Smith Street is. And you click search, and then it populates. And as you can see on here, it will tell you the date the address of the particular uh, property, a tank of 275 gallons, completion date July 20th of 1992, and it was abandoned. If you scroll all the way down, removal, removal, most of them are abandoned because it's more cost effective for the homeowners. Uh, so that's a way you can actually, then we just click print certificate. And you could actually get yourself, if you're a homeowner, the Nassau County Department of Health certificate that shows everything you need to prove that you had, you filed the permits and you had the work done. So again, it's Nassau County um, Department of Health, small tank removal or small tank uh, website. Here it is, small petroleum tank closure inspection scheduling system. You just type in the name of the street and you get that document if the homeowner doesn't have it. So the next thing that you can do, you call, you, you got the document, but you still want to make sure you, you protected your investment. What you do is you contact a local environmental company. They can come out, they can take a sample of the soil, understanding that if they find it to be polluted to a certain um, degree uh, and, and the testing that they do, the homeowner is responsible for cleaning it up. Now, depending upon the level, again, I'm not an attorney and I'm not any a, an environmental expert, 
but you can definitely ask the environmental company as to the price it would cost to remediate this and whether or not they feel it's maybe you should pass on this deal or if you're the homeowner, what you need to do to get that house ready for resale. Hello, yes, I'm talking to you, the person that watched my video to the very end. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook. I am a licensed real estate agent in New York State, but I also have a referral service that deals nationwide. So if you're looking for to buy or sell a house anywhere in the United States, please send me a text, contact me via phone, and I'll set you up with a local professional in your area. If you're in my vicinity, I'd be more than happy to help you out in any of your real estate transactions that you'd like. This is Mark Schreier from Century 21 American Homes, and I'll talk to you soon.